Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. Today we have an update video for the wild German yellow jacket nest that we've been monitoring since May of 2022 when it was discovered in the wall cavity of an old barn. Here on August 1st when we shot this footage you can see that the first generation of female workers have been bringing back a lot of wood pulp to help build the nest and a lot of protein to help feed the larva. They tend to carry it in their mandibles and with their legs. What you see here is their front door, which is a hole in the barn by an old nail, and it became their main route in and out of the nest. So in this video, you're going to see the foraging activity through that entry point, and you're also going to see an update on the nest itself. We'll go inside the barn and take a look. Later on in the video, you'll get to see the actual nest and how it's grown since May. As you may have seen in the previous update videos for this nest, these are the workers now, the first generation of female workers who were born in the nest and they're bringing back wood pulp and they're bringing back protein to feed the other larva which is usually malixated insects that they have hunted in the wild. As you can see they're getting pretty good at coming back with a fair amount of food. This wasp for example flew in with a very large insect it had hunted in the wild and partially malixated and you can see in the footage She's carrying it in both her legs and also with her mandibles. So now that the worker wasps are getting so proficient at doing this, the queen herself probably stays mostly in the nest these days laying eggs. That's her main job once the workers take over the foraging activities. Some of the loads are very small. As you'll see, this one here uh, is a pretty small ball of what looks like wood pulp in the mandibles of that wasp. And the wood pulp is formed by collecting wood fibers, mixing it with their saliva, and that's what they actually build their nest with. But some of these other foraging runs are really a heavy weight brought back. This wasp, for example, flying in now, in her mandibles and with her legs, she's carrying a very large insect that she had hunted in the wild and then began malixating and cut it up into pieces it could actually carry back to the nest. And if you look at this, it looks a little bit like it might have been another flying insect like a wasp or something. Wasps are actually known to attack other wasps at times for food. For example, the bald-faced hornet is well known to attack ground yellow jackets. So let's go inside the barn now and take a look at the actual nest. As you may recall from other update videos on this nest, it's in the wall cavity of the barn. And we have it behind a plexiglass viewing window that we installed once we discovered this nest in the wild. As you can see here, the worker wasps have been very busy. We're going to freeze the frame so you can take a look at the changes. There's a lot more envelope now built all around the nest, and they'll continue this until it's quite large. As you can see back on June 11th, it was about the size and look of a golf ball. Then around July 20th, a month later, some of the envelope had been constructed. And now, here on August 1st, there's quite a bit more envelope on the exterior of the nest. And it's becoming less of a round shape now and more of an unusual sort of puffy shape and they'll continue with this construction throughout the hot season of the year and then it will begin to fill up that entire space inside the wall cavity. You can see also here that they've splattered the window, the viewing window, pretty well. The waste material made by wasps tends to be discarded in flight. They might urinate or defecate while flying or while crawling on the window and it tends to get a little splattery around whatever nest they're building, especially underneath the nest. They'll also release venom occasionally, which you'll see on these walls and below the nest. Vespula wasps or yellow jackets are kind of famous for making a mess of their environment down below the nest. The nest itself is kept really clean but all around the nest and the waste material below it uh, can get pretty dirty. For example, if you get large nests up in the attic spaces of houses and buildings, you'll find that the ceiling itself will become saturated at some point, and you'll be able to see stains on the ceiling sometimes if it gets big enough and wet enough in there from the waste material dropped from the nest. So that brings this video to a close. We hope you've enjoyed watching the progression of this nest since May. We'll keep doing update videos for you as it gets larger and larger throughout the season. And as more wasps are born, the next generation of worker wasps will be coming up here pretty soon. And when it does, this nest will get super active as it hits peak season. Finally, as you watch the last of this slow motion clip, you're going to see the guard wasps coming out. You see how they're going to come out and try to find their way past that plexiglass window. Uh, that's their job now. They are the guards. 
so that's a good place to stop filming and leave them alone for a while. Thanks for being with us. Have a good one.